Well, Manny, it's been a long road to get this far, hasn't it? You and your Washington filibusters are in the playoffs and are favored to win the National League pennant. But what a bizarre turn of events in this long baseball season. You were kidnapped last June and held for a week. That crime still hasn't been solved. I have every confidence that law enforcement will solve it. And don't forget, he's married to an investigative reporter. I'm more than just a sports writer. If law enforcement fails, I'm on the job. Good evening, Madeline. Good evening. I'm sorry, have we met before? I'm Miranda Stone, Mrs. Thomas Stone. If you think real hard, you should remember who I am. Oh, Miranda, of course. I didn't think Tommy was able to make it tonight. You mean after you fired him as attorney for your husband's re-election campaign? And simultaneously told your daddy to dispense with his services in the filibuster's front office? It's all just business. You know, business and politics. We'd be glad to serve as a reference for him. I know it's difficult to understand, but please don't take it personally. No, of course not. We were afraid he'd have to stay throughout your husband's whole losing effort. If anything, you did Tommy a favor. He had time to catch on with a worthier candidate. <laughs> well then, I should be going. I think I deserve some answers. Tommy and I both do. <sighs> I'm sorry, but really? Whatever Tommy and I had is over. You've reclaimed your suburban drawl. Is it really necessary to attempt to shame me over your marital shambles? I'm sorry. Allow me to clarify. I'd like to ask you some questions about your involvement in the kidnapping of my brother-in-law, Manny Chavez. <laughs> You're crazy. No, I'm not. I'm smart enough to have figured out what happened, even if my journalist sister hasn't. She's a little too close to it all. What the shit- why don't I go ahead and tell you what I know? If you're feeling generous, you can add the color commentary. You were determined to stop Manny from testifying in a steroids hearing, which would have compromised some of your favorite players. So you used what you thought was an untraceable email account to hire a private security firm to kidnap Manny. You detailed how he was to be cared for, or rather, brutalized for several days, and what specific threats to make. I'll bet you thought you'd be protected by that email account. But technology is awfully impressive these days. Are you aware I work for the Department of Homeland Security? A lot of stuffy pricks in that office for sure, but I've managed to learn a lot from them in the past five years. Probably you didn't know that with a warrant, special agents would be able to track your email's IP address right to a certain senator's office. And these are the printed emails we obtained. Cool, huh? Not so cool for you, though. You'll be going to prison, and that's definitely not par for the course for a senator's wife. Though I have to say, I think you'll be tanking his re-election chances come press time tomorrow morning. I wonder if all those nice people gathered here tonight who've been loyal contributors to your cause will be able to void their checks in time. <laughs> Please, you don't have to do this. Tommy can have his job back, both of his jobs, anything he wants. My family's very powerful, you know. Yes, of course. For all I know, your husband might be innocent in all this. On second thought, maybe his political career still stands a chance, if he announces intention to divorce you. After all, it was Daddy's interests you were protecting. His precious baseball team is the true source of your political power. That might be true, but- On some level, Daddy will be proud to learn that you kept Manny from testifying against his star players. Why are you doing this to me? You were protecting your family. I'm protecting mine. I should have let him kill Manny. A baseball team is a family too, and he'll always be a fucking rat for jumping at the opportunity to sell out his. And your husband? He doesn't love you. He loves me. I guess he liked you okay. Until you fired him for standing up to you. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. If you don't make too much of a scene, maybe not everyone at this party will realize the police have arrived to arrest you. It won't happen, you fool. The police will never believe a jealous shrew like you over a prominent woman like me. Oh no?
one of my sister's tricks of the trade. I decided to obtain one of my own, to get your fascinating words on tape. <laughs> I see it now. The real reason you're doing this. You're jealous of your sister, the hotshot reporter. You're nothing but a lowly bureaucrat. This is your chance to upstage her. The cops are here. Get ready to wear a snazzy pair of handcuffs. No, you get ready! You're the one going down for lying and... I, I don't know, trying to extort my family? That's a lot worse than anything I did. Well done, honey. What's going on? Miranda, what have you done? She solved the case. That's what she did. Enough, ladies. We'll settle this cat fight down at the station. Your husbands can come by in a couple of hours and bail you out. <laughs>